Hello and welcome to Simplified on Part Drifter. We take complicated automotive ideas, we break them down into bite-sized pieces you can use in your life with motorcycles. And today we're talking about gas and not the stuff that you get from Rajma. <laughs> but before we go ahead, please do do the small favors that you do us. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon. Like this video if you loved it. I know that sounds odd. And please do show it to your friends because I think this is going to be useful. And today we're talking about nitrogen. The first thing you should know about nitrogen is that when you fill regular air in your tires, that's 78% nitrogen already. But there seems to be a little bit of a myth that nitrogen is better for you to fill in your tires and should you or should you not because tire filling is generally free. But nitrogen costs roughly 120 rupees for a set of four wheels, right? Should you be spending this money? Now, the only scientific advantage to having nitrogen in your tires seems to be that the tire pressures are more stable over time because of something called permeation. Permeation is the ability of a gas to go through something. So when you fill air in your tires, what you're filling in is a combination of gases, right? 78% of that is nitrogen. Tell me what the percentage of oxygen is. There's a little bit of water vapor involved and that's really a problem. And there are some other gases like carbon dioxide, etc., that go in also because it's just regular atmospheric air, right? Now this air over time slowly leaks through the essentially leak-proof structure of the tire. Okay, everything is leak proof, but for a certain amount of time. So if you just take a tire, fill it with air and just leave it, eventually the tire pressure will drop by small increments. What nitrogen seems to be able to do is remove oxygen, remove water vapor, remove the other gases. And in the process, you get something like 95% pure dry nitrogen and dry nitrogen tends to permeate the tire at a much slower rate than oxygen. So in theory, if you were to fill your tires with nitrogen, you can get away with checking your tire pressures less often than you have to with regular air. But there is literally no other advantage to this. And given how crucial tire pressures are, I would say it's better for you to just get in the habit of checking tire pressures regularly than to spend money on nitrogen. So should you be spending on the nitrogen? Honestly, the answer is no. I would not do it at all. But there are certain environments where tire pressures are critical. And the difference between air and nitrogen in a tire is that nitrogen's pressure varies much less with temperature changes than airs does. So in a race environment, a lot of race teams will run nitrogen, especially at the upper end of racing. And the reason they do that is for every small change in tire pressure, there is a change in the level of grip. And a racer who is using every ounce of grip he's got to go as fast as he or she can, they will notice the difference and you're trying to give them a more stable racing platform. And for that, nitrogen does have a role to play. But remember, a race team carries a lot of stuff with them, including all the tools and adding small nitrogen canisters to this whole package is not really a big deal. But if you were to fill your motorcycle with nitrogen, you would have to look for other nitrogen pumps to refill your tires as you need them. And that can be a bit of a challenge, apart from the fact that you'd be spending money on literally filling air into your tires. So, in sum, nitrogen does have basically two benefits. First, because it's dry, it doesn't have water vapor and water vapor can cause problems. Second, oxygen does react with tires a little bit and it can cause tire degradation. 95% pure nitrogen will obviously not have oxygen in it. But remember, the tire makers know that air reacts to tires and the tires are designed to handle some amount of this degradation anyway. So most tires will be retired at the end of 10 years, whether you use them or not. And the reason why you would retire them is primarily because oxygen and rubber reacting to each other and causing a degradation in the tires performance. Nitrogen honestly doesn't change that by any significant way. Most of us will have changed our tires long before a 10 year period arrives in any case. So the more I think about it, the more I would say I've only ever used atmospheric air to fill my tires. I've barely ever paid for it. And I see no reason why you should be spending even 100 rupees filling nitrogen in your tires at all. In our daily environment, in the way we use our vehicles, there's just going to be no significant advantage from it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Simplified, where we take complicated ideas, break them down into small bite-sized pieces that you can use in your life with motorcycles. If you want to discuss this further, leave us a comment. If you like the topic, please do show it to your friends. And if there's other topics that you'd like us to attack on Simplified, all you have to do is leave us a comment here and we'll get right on it. Thank you so much for watching.